Jared Cohen here for ProsToPreps.com out at Chase Field, and I'm with Rick Kranitz, who's the pitching coach for the Milwaukee Brewers in town playing the Diamondbacks. And Rick grew up in Phoenix, played high school, started off at Apollo High School. And, and Rick, if we could start there, just talk about how it all began for you and coming up playing here in Arizona, being able to play year-round because of the weather, and, and how it kind of kick-started your career in, in baseball. Well, you know, we were, my, my father was in the Air Force, so we moved around quite a bit. I was the youngest, so by the time we got to Phoenix, you know, I think I was in first grade and, and uh, you know, uh, ended up going to Apollo High School and from there uh, on into Yavapai. And, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of funny because we talk about playing year round baseball. You know, I think I, we never got a chance to really play year round until like 1977, which I was a junior in high school, is when they finally started to do a winter ball league for the high school kids. You know, everybody used to just play, you know, when any sport came up, that's what we played. But uh, I think once, once I became a junior in high school, it became uh, to where I, I knew that, you know, maybe this is what I may want to do. And you spent some time in the major leagues, and you spent a lot of time in the, in the majors coaching uh, with assistant pitching coach, minor league as a manager, pitching coach, and now you're with the Milwaukee Brewers, but you've had some amazing experiences since you've gotten there. Uh, with the Cubs, you were there for Kerry Wood's 20 strikeouts. You were also there for Mark McGuire's 62 home, 62nd home run. Uh, you were at the last game ever at Yankee Stadium. Just some of the most memorable experiences. It's memorable enough being a, a pitching coach in the major leagues, but, but some of these great experiences that you've had can you just talk about what what these have been like for you in this all this whole experience well you know I you're right I've been real fortunate and uh, you know I was with the Cubs for 22 years and I was fortunate enough to when Kerry Wood came along you know I was a pitching coordinator at that time so I got a chance to see him grow as a youngster and then to go to the big leagues and that night on I believe it was the 6th of May I, I can still remember that uh, the night he struck out 20 was absolutely phenomenal but uh, it was one of the greatest pitching performances that uh, I've ever been uh, associated with, you know. And you know, as, as, as I turn around and look, you know, next thing I know, I'm thrown into the, you know, the Sammy Sosa, Mike, Mark McGuire home run race, you know, in 1998 when I was with the Cubs, which which was phenomenal in itself because, you know, uh, those guys were battling back and forth and back and forth. You know, that record wasn't broken. I mean, I think it was six, 1961 mm -hmm. when uh, the 61 home runs were hit, and then you know now we got two guys chasing. The the record and, and that night was really special and at uh, Bush Stadium uh, it was absolutely phenomenal I remember uh, you know actually you know being in the uh, the batting cage uh, throwing some batting practice and you know Mark walked in and and uh, you know we were kind of just talking a little bit about uh, you know this what a moment he says this is he says this is unbelievable this is I've been in World Series he goes this is this is more pressure than a World Series, you know, with what was going on at that particular time, you know, and so, you know, there's been a lot of uh, great things that I've had a chance to uh, be a part of, you know, and I feel uh, like it was just a real blessing to be able to, to see some of these uh, great, great feats by these great players. What's it like living here and getting the opportunity to, to go through spring training in your hometown? Uh, is it a lot more convenient and a little bit more fun for you to be with your family as well? Well, there's no question. You know, I, I signed with the Brewers back in uh, 1979. So, you know, and, and it was really kind of funny because we talked to the guys about, uh, you know, spring training sites. And we were at 83rd Avenue and Bell Road. That was our spring training site with Milwaukee, which was all desert at that point. Cotton fields and desert. I mean, and for miles and miles, you, you know, and back, or, of course, the people that lived here back in 1979, they know what I'm talking about. You know, to be able to come back now um, and be a part of the organization is unbelievable. But, you know, the, the spring trainings in, in between Phoenix and, and uh, Florida is absolutely no comparison. You know, for me personally, being with my family and, and being home that extra six weeks, but, you know, the travel is so much better. I uh, love the Maryville Park. And then, you know, you know, being able to grow up here and then to see what this ballpark here is, we're standing here, what they've done here and, and the World Series. Um, you know, it's really nice to see baseball really picking up again in Arizona and the fans uh, being behind uh, the team again and, and excited about a season. So, uh, you know, I, I hope I never have to, to, to leave uh, spring training in Arizona again. And lastly, we'll talk about your squad. Uh, it's a different look with Prince being gone, but you have all five of your starters back. So what is your outlook for this team who, who seems to have a different look but expects just as much success? Well, absolutely. You know, we have all five guys back. And you know, anytime you can say that um, and, and have your five guys back, it's, it's a really a plus. This is the first time probably in all the years I've been a pitching coach that really my, the staff was set coming in. You know, a lot of times when I was in Florida, shoot, you know, we had, you know, 
eight guys trying to make the team. You know, now it's just a matter of like one or two. You know, and now that Zach uh, is not playing basketball in the off season uh, to to get hurt. Uh, we have him back, you know, for the full year. So it's 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 really nice. Now we just have to go out and compete and go. You know, it's a long grind of a season. So, you know, just keep everybody healthy and and hopefully when when we look at the end of the season, you know, we're going to be right there. Well, this is Rick Kranitz. He's the pitching coach for the Milwaukee Brewers, getting set for the 2012 season, and he's got that Arizona connection that makes most Arizonans very proud to see uh, a, a guy like Rick being successful at the major league level. For prosdeprep.com, I'm Jared Cohen.